The job search is hard. We all know that. But it's harder if you fall into one of these five categories. My name is Joel Algy. I've been in recruiting for coming up to a decade. You can go verify me on LinkedIn. I've got 190,000 followers on that platform. Have you ever wondered why it's hard or why your job search is taking long? If you fall into one of these five categories, which are entry level or new grads, career transition or career pivot, self-employed to be an employee again, a perceived job hopper, or on the complete opposite spectrum, you've been at your company for too long, 10 years plus, or you're currently employed, the job search is gonna be hard. I know what you're thinking, that's pretty much everyone, but it's not. There's one more category of people that actually don't find it that challenging on the job search, and those are people that are making what we call a lateral move. It's literally where you're going from one position in the company to the same position at a different company, and they are your competition. So how do you overcome your situation? Well, the first thing is to know whether or not you fall into one of these categories or multiple of them. And if you do, throughout the interview process, you wanna know what people will think and how people think. So let's take each one. For entry level and new grad, this is a numbers game. Everybody's at the same level playing field. You don't have stories, you don't have examples, you don't have experience unless you have an internship, and which is why I always say, get an internship, get some experience. Entry level is the toughest. So if you're entry level right now, just know that it takes time for everybody. It takes a lot of applications, a lot of interviews, and it just takes a lot of time. But luckily, you should only go through this once in your career or maybe in the first couple of years of your career if you bounce around a little bit. The second one is career pivot and transition. This is where you have skills, but you don't have the actual experience in the job. So the way that you get over this in the interview is you make sure that you have stories of how your skills are gonna translate into the new role. This means you gotta research the new role and you've really gotta understand it. I recommend consuming a lot of content that's industry relevant to really understand the role or talking and networking with people who are in the role that you wanna be in. Self-employed to employee, what people are gonna think is how are you gonna be managed again? How are you gonna to learn to be an employee? So through the interview process, you wanna counteract that. You wanna talk about how you worked with clients and how you partnered with them and how you're a team player. You wanna use as many examples as you can to ease their mind and let them know that you can be managed, you can be a team player. The perceived job hopper or the person that's been at that company a long time. If you're a job hopper, you wanna talk about how each role has helped you progress in your career and how what you've learned is gonna value that company. If you've been at your company for too long, you wanna talk about changes that you've had. So any program implementation, any new software that you've implemented, talk about change a lot so they understand that you're gonna be okay changing companies after a long time. For those who are currently unemployed, it's always gonna be hard. This is a numbers game, it's networking, it's trying a lot of different ways, and it's tough for everyone. So if you have a job, don't leave one without a backup.